the heart of this whole story is a very important relationship between Salmond and Sturgeon. I've worked with Alec for 25 years. He's been a mentor to me. We're great colleagues, we're great friends. Two female civil servants complained about sexual harassment by Alec Salmond. The former First Minister went on trial for 13 sexual offences, including attempted rape. He admitted sexually inappropriate behaviour in which he touched, kissed, cuddled yeah. women he worked with. Many people in the SNP knew that. There is a, a big question mark over exactly what the First Minister knew and when she knew it. I'm sorry, yeah. but you've given written submission sorry. to the inquiry saying that you knew in November 2017. You told me you knew in April, six months Not later. Yet. In April, that was the first I had known. There is a big gap between what you said to the inquiry You're... and what you said to my viewers. Everybody in, involved in Scottish politics knows that there have been rumours swirling around Alex Sam from way back in the past. The substance of these claims at Edinburgh Airport, they were tolerated and concealed, and that you're a part of that. It is utterly impossible to believe that Nicola Sturgeon was the only person at Holyrood who had never heard anything about any of this. It's only five months away from a Scottish election where people will be, well, Nicola Sturgeon will be asking the Scottish public to trust her. I will put uh, myself, my government and my record uh, before the people of Scotland next to me. Why you haven't been completely upfront about when you were first aware of concerns about his behaviour. A culture of secrets and cover-up on Nicola Sturgeon's watch. This is a question of the First Minister's credibility.